Hi everyone, it's David and welcome back to The Good Life Journey. Ever felt overwhelmed by life's uncertainties? Or have you found yourself chasing after more but feeling less fulfilled in today's hyper-connected world? Today we delve into 20 different stoic ideas and actionable strategies to conquer anxiety and reclaim peace in today's fast-paced world. These insights are derived from one of my favorite books, A Guide to the Good Life, written by Professor William Irvine. It offers a roadmap on how modern individuals can apply the ancient philosophy of Roman Stoicism to today's life. If you find value in the content of this video, and you're generally interested in strategies and actionable tips on how to lead a good life, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel. All right, enough for the self-publicity. Let's jump right into the video. Here are 20 different tips and actionable strategies on how to lead a more meaningful and joyous life. Enjoy. One, banishing negative emotions. The Stoics aimed not to eliminate all emotions from life, but specifically to rid themselves of negative emotions. There's a common misconception between the modern term Stoic, which can be interpreted as someone unaffected by joy, grief, pleasure, or pain, and the uppercase Stoics of ancient times. Ancient Stoics were cheerful, optimistic individuals who found joy in life's pleasures without forming strong attachments to them. 2. Pursuing tranquility and virtue. If our goal is to live a good life, Stoics advise us to pursue tranquility and the attainment of virtue. Tranquility can be understood as a state of mind marked by the presence of joy and the absence of anger, grief, anxiety, and fear. Attaining Stoic virtue embodies aiming for human excellence and is often broken down as pursuing justice, courage, temperance, and wisdom. 3. Non-attachment to good things. While enjoying the good things life offered, Stoics practiced non-attachment, standing ready to give up these pleasures without regret if their circumstances changed. 4. Living in accordance with nature. To be virtuous for the Stoics is to live in accordance with nature. Since nature intended us to be social creatures, we have duties to our fellow men and women. Despite not pursuing fame or fortune, this sense of social duty led Stoics to be active players in politics. 5. Overcoming insatiability with gratitude. We are unlikely to have a good life full of meaning unless we overcome our inability to be satisfied. To achieve a fulfilling life, we must conquer our perpetual dissatisfaction. Cultivating gratitude and appreciating what we already possess is a powerful strategy in this pursuit. 6. Negative visualization. We should periodically engage in negative visualization to counter our insatiability, our inability to be satisfied, and the effects of hedonic adaptation. In other words, the numbing effects of getting used to pleasure. Practicing negative visualization involves imagining the loss of what we hold dear, including possessions and relationships. This exercise fosters genuine appreciation for our present possessions and reduces our tendency to crave for more. 7. Reflection on mortality. Regularly contemplating our own mortality extends the practice of negative visualization. It involves pausing in our daily lives to acknowledge our impermanence and the possibility that today may be our last day. This reflection enhances our gratitude for life's wonder, amplifying our enjoyment of every moment. 8. Focus on controllable aspects. One of life's crucial decisions is to prioritize our attention on what we can control. Categorizing life events into three components, things within our control, those beyond our control, and those over which we have only partial influence, helps guide our focus. We prioritize the first category and disregard the second one as it is futile to worry about matters we can't influence. For the partially controllable, setting internal goals such as performing to the best of our ability is preferable over focusing on external outcomes. 9. Practice gratitude and focus on the immediate future. To maintain our inner calm, adopting a fatalistic approach towards both past events and the present moment is beneficial. Dwelling on altering the unchangeable past wastes energy and time. Similarly, fixating on alterating the present leads to perpetual dissatisfaction. Choosing gratitude for what life presently offers allows us to channel our efforts in the, into the immediate future, fostering contentment and peace. 10. Self-denial for enhanced enjoyment. The Stoics recommended practicing self-denial as a means to navigate the potential pitfalls of pleasure. 
This practice didn't involve self-punishment, but aimed to heighten their appreciation of life. Through occasional small acts of self-denial, they fortify themselves against future hardships, fostering confidence in facing major setbacks that may arise. This outlook curbed anxiety about impending discomforts and enabled them to relish the present fully. Engaging in voluntary discomforts such as occasional hunger, thirst, cold exposure, or embracing simplicity amplify their gratitude for their current possessions and experiences. 11. Avoiding excessive pleasure. Besides these voluntary acts of discomfort, Stoics advocated to periodically forego opportunities to experience pleasure. Seneca warned us that pursuing pleasure was like chasing a wild beast. On being captured, it can turn on us and tear us to pieces. In other words, intense pleasures when captures can actually become our captors. The more pleasures a man captures, the more masters he will have to serve. 12. Reflecting on Stoic Principles Periodically reflect on the events of daily living and whether we have responded to those events in accordance to a Stoic principle. Throughout your day, take on both the roles of active participant and Stoic observer. Are you implementing Stoic techniques like negative visualization or distinguishing between controllable and uncontrollable aspects? Are you lingering on past events or yearning for a different present instead of directing your attention towards the immediate future? 13. Dealing with people and developing empathy. Steer clear of individuals driven by unhealthy desires to safeguard your inner peace. Mingling with them might expose us to similar disruptive tendencies. If it is challenging to avoid disagreeable company, how should we navigate it? When irritated by someone's flaws, Stoics suggest a moment of introspection into our own imperfections. This fosters empathy for their faults, leading to increased tolerance. Another method is embracing social fatalism. Recognize that people likely haven't chose their shortcomings, operating on the assumption that flawed behaviors are fated can help diminish the wish for others to change. 14. Using humor to prevent anger. Harness humor to keep anger in check. Often we feel overwhelmed by minor events, allowing anger to persist longer than the incident's actual impact. Stoics advocate viewing the adverse event humorously rather than outrageously, recognizing ourselves as players in another's absurd drama. Another Stoic technique is to reflect on the impermanence of things. The event in question is not only completely trivial in the big scheme of things, but even within our own lives it is something that we will never remember in a few weeks, months or years time. 15. Avoiding the pursuit of fame. Avoid pursuing fame, social status or the admiration of others. Stoics argue that people are unhappy because they are confused about what is valuable, fame included. People fail to realize that fame, whether worldwide or just the admiration of neighbors and colleagues, comes at a steep price. We should refrain from actions granting others power over our freedom. By always trying to please others, we lose agency over our own life. Ignoring what others think of us is consistent with the stoic theme of not concerning ourselves with things we cannot control. 16. Admiration and Values Alignment Ultimately, gaining others' admiration entails embracing their values. We must ponder if their view of success aligns with ours and whether their pursuits align with the tranquility and virtue that the Stoics seek. 17. Avoiding pursuit of wealth and luxurious lifestyle. Stoics caution against centering our lives solely on the quest for wealth. Pursuing material riches ties back to seeking others' admiration or approval. If fame isn't a worthy pursuit, neither is the pursuit of wealth in itself. Stoics also caution against excessive luxury as it can erode our capacity to appreciate life's simple joys. By avoiding excessive luxury, individuals can dedicate more efforts to meaningful pursuits. 18. Financial Rewards of Stoicism While Stoics don't actively chase wealth, they might still attain it. it Stoics strive to contribute meaningfully to society, often demonstrating remarkable effectiveness due to their discipline. Paradoxically, Practicing Stoicism can lead to financial rewards. By avoiding luxury, a practicing Stoic will likely be a proficient saver and thereby become wealthier than those individuals whose primary goal is wealth accumulation. 19. Acceptance of death through philosophy. Embracing a coherent philosophy of life, be it Stoicism or another, can foster greater acceptance of mortality. Some of us fear death because of the prospect of what comes after, but many more are disturbed by the thought that they may have mislived their life without attaining the things in life that are truly valuable. They fear looking back on their lives with regret. Having a clear philosophy of life guides one towards worthwhile pursuits, mitigating feelings of being deprived when their time comes to part. And 20. Simplify decisions with a coherent philosophy. 
Embracing Stoicism or any philosophy of life can significantly streamline your daily decisions. The approach is clear. Opt for choices that best align with the objectives of your philosophy of life. Stoicism aims for tranquility and the pursuit of virtue. By experiencing fewer negative emotions, such as anger, grief, disappointment and anxiety, we will increase our chances of experiencing positive emotions and delight in the world around us. Aligning our actions with the stoic virtues of justice, courage, temperance and wisdom not only fosters tranquility, but also fulfills our social nature by serving others. All right, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. In the turbulence of life's storms, stoicism can act as an anchor, guiding us to find serenity by centering our attention on the aspects we can control and on the things that truly matter. Which of these stoic ideas resonated with you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. If you found value in the content of this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to support our channel's growth. Thanks for joining us today. Good luck, take care, and if you enjoyed the content of today's video, I think you will also appreciate our other video on the Dalai Lama's 40 tips for a meaningful life.